Right guys, welcome to this video on skeletal system additional factors. This video is going to tie up some of the loose ends of some of the things that we maybe mentioned in previous videos, but that we didn't get around to really describing in any kind of detail. Some bits and pieces that really didn't fit anywhere else in the other videos that we've done on the skeletal system so far. Let's get started. So the first uh, thing to note is this disease called osteoarthritis, osteoarthritis. And osteoarthritis is the most common form of arthritis. And essentially what this is, is the wear and tear of cartilage. It's the breakdown of that cartilage that uh, surrounds and uh, goes over the ends of the long bones um, to reduce friction and to reduce the impact between the bones. And over time, what can happen is... Um, that that cartilage usually with with advancing years with age that cartilage begins to break down if it's not looked after properly and so as a consequence of that cartilage breaking down there is increased pain in the joint and increased inflammation uh, because the bones are actually now contacting one another or the cartilage isn't doing its job as effectively as it could do so we increase the amount of inflammation in the joint increase the amount of pain in the joint so like i say it's a really common uh, or the most common type of arthritis there are some other sorts but this is the most common and sometimes it's thought and wrongly thought that by doing lots of sport lots of jumping around uh, lots of bounding and hopping and so on that you're going to wear out your cartilage. And actually that is not the case, that's not how it works. Um, in order to damage the cartilage through sport, um, actually just jumping around, bounding, body weight stuff doesn't do it. It's not going to damage the cartilage. It's important to realize this. It is possible to damage the cartilage through sport, of course, um, but that would be through injury. So frequent overloading or, or what we call blunt trauma, basically taking a knock, taking a hit in a sport like rugby or football. In those cases, yes, a sport may uh, contribute to the start up or the exacerbation or the worsening of osteoarthritis. But sport in and of itself and exercise in and of itself doesn't necessarily cause osteoarthritis to occur. It's more to do with advancing age. Um, because you actually have to produce a mechanical stress in the joint a lot more, um, a lot greater than it's possible to produce just by jumping and bounding and landing and skipping and hopping and kicking and so on. So in actual fact, Osteoarthritis can be offset. Osteoarthritis can be pushed back or avoided through regular exercise because regular exercise allows synovial fluid to reduce friction at the joint. And it also provides minerals to maintain the health of cartilage. So again, just to reiterate, osteoarthritis is not caused by exercise. It might be, a, it might be caused by an injury that's true, and you might sustain that injury in sport, but it's much more associated with old age. And actually, regular exercise is more likely to mean that your cartilage is in good shape and less likely to wear and tear and break down. The second additional factor that we need to know about is another disease, in fact, um, and it's called osteoporosis. So osteoarthritis that we just looked at was a disease of the joints, essentially, to do with the cartilage at the end of the bones. Osteoporosis still has that osteo prefix, which means to do with bones, but osteoporosis, porosis is a word that relates to porous, means to have holes in. So osteoporosis means bones with holes in. And bones with holes in um, are not strong bones. And so, if we suffer from osteoporosis and our bones do have these holes in them, that means they're brittle and they're easily damaged. So if we, are osteo, if we have osteoporosis and our bones are brittle and easily damaged, how does that come about? Why is that? Why are our bones, why do they have these holes in? Well, these holes are normally infilled with certain minerals and hardened with those minerals. And you'll know this from previous videos. But the crucial, the crucial mineral in this case is calcium. This is why we've got a milk bottle on the screen. A lack of calcium or a lack of vitamin D, since vitamin D is fat soluble and is responsible for um, 
absorption through the intestine of calcium and some other things if we've got a lack of calcium or we've got a lack of vitamin d so we can't get that calcium out of the food through the gut and into the bone if we're lacking either or both of those things we are going to end up with osteoporosis because it's that calcium that needs to fill those holes in the bones to make the bone matrix solid so obviously therefore osteoporosis tends to be very dependent on your diet and so it's really important to avoid osteoporosis to have sufficient calcium and sufficient vitamin d in your diet and dairy products in particular uh, are good for both calcium and vitamin d regular exercise is also really helpful because what regular exercise does is it stimulates this mineral uptake so the bones are stimulated to take on board um, and embed this mineral into the bone matrix and in doing so it fills those gaps so then they're, they're no longer osteoporotic but they're strong they're dense and they're solid and therefore less likely to be brittle less likely to be easily damaged so just one more factor to consider and we're going to look in this uh, last section now about how age affects the skeletal system and one question that you may have heard posed before if you've been um, around sport and exercise and fitness for any time is this does resistance training stunt bone growth in children and this idea has been around for a, for a very long time and it's very much in the kind of the the common mindset um, that in fact if you do resistance training if you lift weights or um, or move weights too young it's going to stunt your bone growth and the argument behind it was that the epiphyseal plates where the growth plates are in the bone can easily get damaged in children and if those plates get damaged then the bone won't grow properly and it might ultimately end in stunting the growth of that that child that's been doing those resistance exercises however much more um, recent studies have pretty much concluded now over the last 20 years or so we're pretty confident now that in actual fact resistance training does not stunt bone growth so regular exercise and this is key if it's done properly so regular exercise if it's done properly is beneficial to bone strength in adolescence despite some risks that were indicated in earlier literature so what that means is that some academics writing 20 30 40 50 years ago suggested that epiphyseal plate damage um, was caused by resistance training and actually we think now that probably what was the case is that that may have happened but it was a result of not of the resistance training itself but of having done either too much too soon or lifting with poor form or just simply done wrongly so we were looking at injuries rather than a general idea that resistance training stunted bone growth and so the literature now is pretty pretty solid and pretty settled on this that regular exercise if that exercise is done properly is actually beneficial and and young kids and adolescents can take part in regular resistance uh, resistance based exercise without any fear of damaging their their growth or stunting their growth provided it's done in a proper controlled environment it's done properly with good form it's not uh, overloaded uh, too soon and so on in those cases it's absolutely fine um, to do resistance training even if you're young or an adolescent so that's it for this video we have focused on osteoarthritis we've looked at osteoporosis and then we've just finished up thinking about how age particularly uh, adolescence uh, impacts the growth um, of the skeleton and in each of those we've talked about uh, how exercise how regular exercise can have a positive impact in each of those three different areas now don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you get notifications for when new videos get uploaded but other than that i hope this video has been helpful to you take care see you next time